Hey, it's Myra, and today I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of my TIG Teardrop Camper Kitchen, what I bring with me on each trip, and things that maybe I don't need so much. Don't take it personal, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my way to stay. Here's a view of the entire kitchen. So you can see I don't have much storage here. I have one little cabinet. Ordinarily this camper comes with a Yeti cooler which I have taken out and have put in a slide tray to fit a small refrigerator. This is an Iceco Go 12. I think I'm gonna upgrade to a Go 20 which is a little bit bigger, has more storage in it. And then I added this little drawer here as well to keep, this is, I got this at an antique store made by Pete. But I have all my utensils and things in here. It just keeps it very clean. Because there's really no room for this stuff in the camper. I have attached this little thing for toothbrush and toothpaste. I velcroed this little box to the side. Just to store a couple things in. In this rack, I have a couple cups. This is a strainer for um, if I need to make coffee. I have some fire sticks and insect repellent, wet wipes, things like that. And then very importantly, I have my windscreen for when I'm cooking. And I added this little car mount, which I can put my phone here. I added this magnetic knife hanger, but I don't think it's a good idea to travel with knives hanging there because they do slide around. And you can see here I have kind of a cut mark on the backsplash from a knife moving back and forth. So those will come down during travel. In my sink here, I just leave a towel and then a hot pad. They store there in the sink and then I can lay the knives down there when I'm traveling. And this is a command shelf that I can keep a couple things. I have soap and hand sanitizer. That's dish soap. I keep up this little mirror back here in case I need a mirror. And then, of course, cleaning supplies. All right, down here, I've got my jug of water, which fits really nicely back there. This is where all my storage is, so this is pretty cramped, but I think I have it organized pretty well. I have a bag. This is just a bag of fire starters that I picked up in case I'm making a campfire. And I have, this is the BioLite set, a spatula, tongs. It's just a nice, neat way to keep my campfire cooking tools together. I think there's a knife in here too. Now I probably still have too much stuff in here but I keep a towel in there just to stop things from sliding around too much. But I have the Stanley set. This would be a really nice sized pot and then there's two bowls in here and a spatula and a spoon which I really never use. I should just take them out because I only really use the pot. I have another Stanley pot here which is also a copy Press. I love these little Yuko sets there. It's a bowl and a plate and it comes with a little spork on the inside. So I have two of those. This is when I say I have too much stuff in here already. You're going to see like I have way too many pots and pans for, for one or two people. A collapsible bowl and a collapsible little collapsible pot. And then I have my aluminum foil, another towel two coffee mugs. This is the um, GSI Outdoors. It's a collapsible pot and a frying pan fit in this bag. And then I just have two plates here. I usually use the smaller plates, but if you're cooking and you're making burgers or something, it's nice to have a bigger plate. So those fit back in there. And then this is the, I think it's a Coleman. It's the toaster that goes on top of the stove, which actually works really well. Again, I could probably do with less pots because I don't even cook that much, but it all fits in there pretty nicely. Okay, now in my microwave, I don't really use my microwave very often. I had my granddaughter with me on this trip, so we did cook some macaroni and cheese in here, but I just store a few things. This is a little ramen microwave. Make, you can make ramen in there. Baggies thing to carry eggs. If I had eggs in here, it would be in my cooler, not in here, but I store it in here. But like a collapsible strainer, 
And then I have a set of bowls that have covers for storage and then some some other storage for for leftovers basically. I'm thinking very hard about just taking out this microwave altogether because for me I think I've used it on let's see it only works if you're on shore power number one but I really never use it so I think this would be a nice storage area as well but again if I'm not bringing too many things then maybe I don't need more storage underneath this I store a cutting board and the nice thing here is I can open this drawer and set this on top so I have a cutting board here and more counter space if I need it I also have this little table which fits into a little bag rolls up and so it gives me more space because clearly I have not very much prep space here but I definitely can use this table if I need it one thing that I didn't mention that I always carry with me underneath the um, bed storage is a cast iron pan if I'm cooking on the camp fire or if I'm even cooking on um, uh, the camp stove or, or my own stove I like to use that cast iron quite often it does not fit very well in my kitchen but it's underneath the bed storage for when I need it so I hope those tips help you if you have any questions comments or ideas about how to organize your teardrop kitchen please drop it in the comments below and i would love for you to like and subscribe if you're interested in teardrop camping um, tags anything like that I, i'd love to have you a part of the crew thanks so much and have a great day trying to look like you're winning i'm writing rhymes in the kitchen soaking in moments we live in yeah you got the nerve to be on me Taking your life for the hygiene